Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. I will succeed Buari as president, says Tunde Bakari, founder and senior pastor of Later Rain Assembly. A Lagos based Pentecostal church, Tunde Bakari has declared he would be Nigeria's next president. Bakari, in a video which has gone viral on social media, declared that he would succeed President Mohamed Buhari as 16th president of Nigeria, saying this is why he was born. He said, Take it to the mountaintop if you have never heard it before. I am saying it to you this morning. In the scheme of things, in the scheme of things, as far as politics of Nigeria is concerned, President Buhari is the number 15 and yours sincerely is number 16. I never said that to you before. I want to let you know it is I want to let you know it this morning. Nothing can change it in the name of Jesus. E Buhari is number 15. I am number 16. Bakari said, placing his right hand on his chest. To this end was I born, and for this purpose came I came into this world. I have prepared for this for 30 years. When Hibuari chose to run in 2019, he's still number 15. When he steps out, I step in. His assignment is that, is that of Moses to take Nigeria to River Jordan, but he can't cross it. It will take a Joshua to go to the other side and begin to distribute the resources to the people of this nation, Bakari told his congregation in the video. Bakari, who is seen in some quarters as a controversial preacher come politician I had many times criticized previous and present governments in the country. In 2012, Bakari was among those who mobilized forces for daily process that lasted more than two weeks at the Ghanifa Oemi Park, Ojota, Lagos, against the removal of fuel subsidy on petroleum products and consequential price increase announced by the administration of former President Gulog Jonathan. In the 2011 presidential election, Bakari was the running mate to the then presidential candidate of Congress for Progress Change, CPC, Mohamed Buhari, who lost the election to Good Lord Jonathan on the People's Democratic Party. Hmm. Wow. This is this is incredible. We've been hearing a lot of a rumor, you know, from the Kab I from uh saying the Kaba are trying to replace Oshibajo with a popular pastor. Uh, uh, from the southwest, and a lot of people were like, "Ah, who could that be? Who could that be?" And we still heard about him going to the New York to meet uh, uh, with the uh, the delegates and Buhari as well for this a uh, uh, program they are holding in the New York. This a uh, UN program, so it's been rumored here and there. But for him to be boasting now, he knows what he's talking about. Whether it is because of this election they are talking about or the replacement of Oshibajo they are talking about or that that has been rumored or he, he wants to contest in 2023. But from what he's saying, you know, beating his chest that that was why he was born into this world that is going to be number the 16th president of Nigeria. I say God will have it according to what uh, he was telling his con congregation uh, in the video. So we don't know where he's getting his confidence from, whether because of the replacement or he's going to contest in 2023. So let us see where all of these boasts uh, will land him. But And they have they've talked about it. We know his antecedents. We know what and what he has done you know, at some point in time. Of course, he's a vocal uh, person as a pastor or as a politician. He was a running mate to Buhari then and they didn't win but for what he's saying he said take it to the mountain top if you have never heard it before he said i am saying it to you this morning in the scheme of things as far as policies of nigeria is concerned that's why i say i don't know where he's getting his confidence from of course everybody is entitled to his opinion as a nigerian he has the right to vie for any position or to contest for any election position this is within its rights um he said, I never said that to you, you know, talking to his congregation, that I want to let you know this morning, nothing can change it hmm. in the name of Jesus. Buari is number 15 and he's going to be number 15, 16, according to what he's saying, that his assignment 
is that of Moses that to take Nigeria to River Jordan, but he can't cross it. So, like I said, we're going to see as everything uh, keeps coming. He has come out to say it, but he has never made mention of being, uh, he's going to be re replacing Oshibaju or not. Like I said, he knows and he, he understands where his confidence is coming from. And someone says, that's why those Kaba in presidency were looking for a way to ridicule Oshibaju. So you are the pastor, they are grooming to take over Oshibaju post after they may have get rid of him. It can never happen. Mm. Deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. You are those Kabas. You and those Kabas will not succeed in the name of Almighty God. Because Oshibaju helped Buari get some of votes he gets from Southwest. This uh, man Kabas, this useless Kabas, are now using you, pastor, from Southwest again. A pastor like you from the same region. Hmm, God deal. So, is it all about uh, helping Buari to get uh, the vote is just helping them to get the vote, and that's what people are, t are talking about. The person you are using, you know, that you are getting vote for is the person really competent. One thing is that if you do something in an abnormal way, if you do things that you know it's not right, definitely you are going to repeat everybody in whatever you do, everything in anything you do that is wrong, that is against others. Definitely, you are going to reap the repercussion. Whether you help somebody, you are helping somebody at the detriment of others, according to, and that is just the way it is, according to what this person is saying. And that is just what it is, because a lot of people are like surprised that how can these so called people, somebody who, you know, is believed to be more educated, more learned, you know, will be supporting something that is not right, will be supporting something that is not, you know, that is not befitting, and you expect people to be happy. and Whatever you get out of the whole thing, you know, it's, 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 you are going to abide with it. Just like I said, whatever they want to do to themselves is none of our business. Our business is that they have put themselves there. They are how they man, maneuver themselves into that position. Now they are there. Let them do the needful. Nobody is here to sympathize with anybody because they are of same same. Whether APC or PDP, as far as Nigerian politicians are concerned, they are the same. Today they will they will be in uh, 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 on the other side the other they, at the other time they will be at the other side so you don't even know where they belong to and that is just the game every one of them has been playing someone say who says it and it's come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it the Lord will keep us alive we shall see like I said I don't know where he's getting his confidence from whether it's because of uh, the replacements uh, of Oshibaju really God knows but uh, in the recent they want to take Paul and, you know, uh, uh, rob Paul and give Peter or give Peter and rob Paul, whichever way they want to do it, the same place. I don't know whether these guys, they are really looking at the trend, watching the trend, people using others against others. They need to be careful. They need to be careful. Even to the back, if really his, his confidence is coming from the replacement, if at all the replacement is going to come to pass, if that is what he's relying his confidence on. Uh -huh. It might not go too well, but if he's going to contest in 2023, good and fine. It's within its right to do that. Someone say, Bakari, you like you like Yabis too much. How popular are you? How financially buoyant are you? It is not like soccer dream again, Mr. Pastor. Someone say, if God says yes, yeah, who can say no? If that's what he, he believes or that's what he wants, I hope you are not one of the Kabas in Asu Rock. Uh, want to replace with Vice President Yemi Oshibaju. Somebody says, Call Church of Christ is a nation on its own. When you are on, you are an overseer of it, it also means you are a president, but for Christ's kingdom's sake. Therefore, no president of God's nation called church is needed to be president of any nation of this world. To avoid contradicting the word of God, I hereby admonish my beloved Pastor Bakari to search the word of God and meditate properly to avoid making mistake again opposed to Douglas Ubona Douglas of forever Christian worldwide someone say even in your local governments you lose massively you have no electoral value that's why PMB dump you talking is not the same as winning election so guys let's see how they we get on with all of this since I've been saying is God knows where he's getting his confidence from but at the end of the day everything will be made opened please guys i would like to hear from you what you think about what hebakari is saying 
that yeah, I will succeed Buhari as president. Leave your comments below and let's rub minds together. Thank you for always being there. Bye. Take it to the mountain top. If you have never heard it before, I'm saying it to you. Then. President Muhammad Buhari is number 15 and yours sincerely I'm number 16. <laughs> I never said that to you before. I never said that to you before. I make it plain this morning. I let you know it this morning. Nothing can change it in the name of Jesus. He is number 15. I am number 60. Thank mm -hmm. you.